Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back, Millie. How's it going? You chilling? Excited? You can't come with us today. I wish you could. You're just, well, I mean, I guess you could. No, we, that's a terrible idea. We're not going to do that. Anyways, hope you guys are having a fan fantastic day today we are going to be doing a little bit of dangling uh plus or minus a little bit of uh well we need to start a minnow farm we mainly i mean it's a minnow farm because we're gonna get minnows but it's more or less a bait tank so as you guys know we dug a pond we filled it with bass we've got wall in it now we need to feed them and we've been running to the pet store and getting goldfish and it's costing a crazy amount of money to feed these suckers and it's a pain because then some of it, one of us has to go like an hour away to put the nearest pet smart and come back and so what we're gonna do is i want to basically have a pond, not underground, like an above ground pool pond, and that just keeps bait alive, keeps minnows alive, goldfish alive, whatever it might be. That way we only have to go to PetSmart or the, the bait shop or whatever, you know, maybe once every two, three, four weeks maybe, depending on how many we get. Keep them alive and then basically give them a scoop every single day like you would the big animals and giving them grain. So what we got to do is we need to, well, first things first, we're actually going to be going to the Brute Bakery. Uh, if you guys haven't seen us fish it, I haven't fished it yet this year. The main reason is because they've got a bunch of pesky little green sunfish that is super high in protein for the old-fashioned largemouth bass. Uh, maybe even these wally, depending on how small we get them. So, we want the green sunfish out of that pond. We've stocked it with some bass, and we've, we've taken a bunch out, and we've transferred them. But I was thinking, I'm like, instead of going to Petco and buying all these little goldfish for like 30 cents each, why don't we go to the Brute Bakery and get some nice, good, chunky size eater feeder size green sunfish for free, since they're already in there. There's billions of them. We need them out anyway. We'll go down there. We'll catch them. Then we'll transport them back. And then we'll even go to a bait store, see if they have crawfish, minnows, anything like that, to kind of stock in there as well. And then we're going to go to the store and buy a huge big blue pool, fill it with water to keep everything alive for the next like month. Hey, sounds like a good idea. So we're starting the day off here at the house because if you guys missed one of the previous videos, we started a worm farm. So the worms have been living in here and what you might, you might be asking what it was a worm farm. Basically you make like a layered, basically a tub filled with dirt and then like newspapers that are like shredded and then like some decaying leaves and then you got to keep it moist. And basically cut some holes in it, pop some holes in it. And then we've got some worms. So I've been feeding them banana peels and all sorts of scraps and stuff, but it should be keeping these guys alive and they should actually reproduce at some point so let's see see if i can fish one up oh there's one right here see Look at that guy. Millie, what do you think? You like that worm? Hey, don't eat the worm, Rick. What's wrong with you? What are you, largemouth? So we've got this thing. This thing, ha we started off with, I think, how many did we start off with? 10 boxes of at least, I think there's at least 100 to 150 worms in here. And like we said, we pretty much, we just come feed them table scraps, stuff like that. I don't know how long it takes for them to reproduce, but more or less, if we can keep these 150 night colors alive for months on end, that's good because that is going to be used for feeding the fish as well, the bass, the walleye, whatever we end up putting in there, they can eat night crawlers as well. So worm farm, check minnow slash bait tank farm not check yet that's what we're working on today so we need to get all of our gear for the dangling um i'm gonna bring some bass gear too there's also catfish and i mean we're just gonna basically go fishing and bring home all the basically fish that we don't want in the brute bakery because it's not good for the bass because they're overpopulated if you, like i said if you guys are new to the channel basically this thing has millions of these green sunfish and it's not what you want because they compete for bass food so again we're gonna come try to bring a bunch back keep them alive and then feed them to our pet bass you guys stay tuned we made it folks. Where you at puppy? Oh, they're on your side. Rig's no clear out here. We made it to the old brute bakery. I haven't seen these puppies in forever. Come here, puppy. What up? What up, big mama? What up, Riggs? Riggs. Look, it's just a bigger version of Millie. He's so big. You make wow. Millie look tiny, my guy. Chill. Same exact breed as Millie. Oh, uh, pretty close. He's half uh half Bernese. Huh. What up, Oakley? You chilling? Hey, you stay down. So Riggs is going to at some point breed with Millie. We just gotta let her get a little bit older. And Oakley's just chilling. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Hopefully, Millie's boy, Millie's almost one. So probably within the next six months or so, we're gonna introduce them. But he's so cute. He's just such a beefcake. You're just such a big boy. You oh, and you're such a big girl. I know. I know. I know, big puppy, big puppy, big yeah, puppy. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna get unloaded. I guess these guys are gonna come fishing with us. And uh, we're gonna try to catch some fish, bluegills. Uh, in particular, the green sun fish, those ones we wanna take. But hey, so we're here for catfish. We got a catfish rod, we got a bass rod rigged up. Calm down, Rick. We're gonna go fishing. You wanna go fish? Oh, big boy, oh, big boy. All right, let's get all the uh, all the tools and head out on the water. Shoo, look at the bakery, folks. She's looking, oh, there's a frog. She's looking absolutely minty right now. This is crazy how high the water is. Like, if you guys have been here for a while, remember this used to have like huge drop-offs that all those trees were completely dry. All that back there was completely dry. And like the boat ramp used to start way back there. I mean, I would say the water's up a lot, probably three, four, five feet. This is crazy. I mean, it's in a good way. This is awesome. This is what we wanted. We want a big fight. Hey, you chill, little Ricky. You want to play? Get him. 
You get him. You're like Millie. You're just a little freaking, you're just a little nut. You're just like, hey, play with me. Play with me. Sorry, I'm obsessed with the dogs. But we're going to get to Dangle. This is a pretty good spot here. Um, we, didn't, we didn't have a boat or anything. We're just going to kind of, you know, just, just rough it from the shoreline. And um, I'm going to start off with green sunfish. Uh, since it's bobber fishing, you can kind of chuck it out there, let it sit. As my bobber is sitting there, then maybe do some catfishing and some, some bass fishing. But today's goal, get as many green sunfish out of here as possible. You guys stay tuned. Oh, yeah. A little juicy. A little, a little skinny guy. We're only going after little guys. I'll grab a little thicker one when we're going after the catfish and the bass, but for now, little green sunfish, and we've got a teeny little hook on here, so we don't need much. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna thread it two times, give it a pinch like that, and that's gonna be money. I don't know how deep to throw this thing. Probably a little deeper than this, because it's the water's come up quite a bit. We'll try about that. That's probably two and a half feet, and uh let's see what happens here. Bingo. Oh well the bobber flows. Oh yeah, it floats. I put a little bobber on here just because if we get little green sunfish bite and I want to be able to detect the bite. But we're going to leave that be. Let it chill for a second. I'm going to get a catfish rod out and uh, throw it out in the middle and see if we can catch a kitty cat. Now that I got the bluegill rig out, we're going night crawler for a catfish, which I know that's probably not like the best catfishing bait. You can also catch a largemouth though. Sorry if this wind noise sucks, but I'm throwing a full giant crawler right on this guy. A little circle hook like that. All right, fire in the hole. Sir, figure something out. Oh, yep. There you go. What do you got? Throw them up. Crappie. Crappie. Crappie on a worm. What a monster. Should we feed him the bass? Yeah, I mean, you don't want him in here. Yeah. All right, folks. So, hooking got a little crappie, as you guys saw. So, we're going to head on over. I'm going to keep adventuring. I, I think the water's still a little too chilly for, like, you know, the bluegills to be super shallow and the bass to be super shallow. We've been having some crazy weather that's been keeping everything really, like, basically all the water really cold. I'm going to keep on moving until I start getting some bites. But I'm going to throw in this little this little cove here. I feel like would be a good spot. Maybe a little spawning bay or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we're going to keep on moving. I'm going to work my way down that way and uh, see if we can find anything. Yup. 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 Let's see. Oh no, Rick! Rip. I had one. Go get another worm. Make me proud, Hook Daddy. Hook has got a bite right now. This is intense because the fish are not really biting today. So no, yeah, they're being they're few and far between. We got to execute. I messed up on my last bite. We're relying on Hook to, to to take us to the finish line here. What are you doing, buddy? Do we suck or what? You're just like Millie. You're like you guys are just absolutely garbage at fishing. Look at you're just like Millie. You just you always paw. Every Look at see. Look, is this not Millie Junior right now? Maybe it's just a puppy thing. I don't even know. You tell us we suck though. She's like, hey, you guys, you brought night crawlers and you caught one teeny little crappie and. uh that's it. It's all the excitement you get, at Oakley. Anyways, folks, I mean, hey, it's worth a shot. I think water temp's still too cold. I'm just making excuses for myself. Um, but hey, we're taking home one crappie, and uh, we're gonna put them. We'll put them. We'll give them to the fish and see if they eat them. If they don't, we'll just grow them enough to catch them and cook them or something. We're not really sure. Uh, but we're gonna head into town since we can't catch fish. I guess we gotta go buy fish. Stay tuned. As we were about to leave, I was gonna go check on this feeder that we have down here. I see tons of bluegills. I mean, when I say tons, I mean dozens of bluegills in this little pocket. I can't tell if they're green sunfish or just normal bluegill. We were just about to leave, but I'm gonna throw in here and see see what I can make happen. Oh, oh, yup. Yes, sir. Mer. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a green sunfish, too. Yup. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Hey, oh, 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 there you go. Phew. But we, we didn't think we were gonna catch anything. Oh, snap. That's perfect. Look at that. That's gonna, I mean, it's a little bit big for the uh, the bass, but I think eventually they would be able to eat it. All right, so I just caught a fish. That was pretty neat. I'm gonna try a little bit further over here. This that's crazy. We were fishing this whole time. They were just in this little cut. I might have scared them by catching one, but you getting bit? Yeah. Oh, 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 there, I see it. You're getting tugged on, buddy. They're giving you the old tug. Oh, that's a, that's a good bluegill. That's a big sunfish. Look at this guy. Yeah, see, those are the ones we stocked. We stocked those last yep. year. So we want, we want to put those back. This is good bluegill, okay? And I just caught a oh rigs, chill. And I caught a bad bluegill. That's yeah. a good that's a good one though. Let that guy go. Yeah. All right, I'm back in business, folks. Got the uh, got the old worm back on. Truck it out there. This is a good sign. We're catching we're catching fish finally. Fished it for like 45 minutes without really much. A little crop. Oh, I already got a bite. Check that out. Oh, he came off. Rip. Cheese and rice. He stole my worm. Here we go, folks. About to catch one. All right, we're about to get her done right here. It's gonna be the magic cast. You guys ready for this moment? Magic cast. Flip. And set the hook. Oh, you got one. There you go. There you go. That's a green sunfish there, boy. There we go. This is number two green sunfish. You just bite. Double up. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. <laughs> Another green sunfish, son. Let's go. Oh, these bass are about to be fat and happy. These guys are just perfect little feeder fish. I mean, it, like I said, it's, it's not a small, it's not a small bait. If the bass are big enough, or once they get big enough, these things are just straight protein right to their face. We got another one in the box. That's three. Three and a crappie are gonna come home. We're gonna keep going because uh, 
We found the juice. All right, dangle stick 3000, re-engaged. Got a couple, oh, rip. Oh, there we go, we're good. A little couple twisties in there. Let's give her the flick, see what happens. Oh, there we go, there's a bite. There's a bite, come on now. Oh, snap, really? Let go, he dropped it. He's playing games, he's playing possum. He don't realize I'm the possum killer. Shoo! All right, folks, well, here we go. We are at good old-fashioned tea supply. We gotta see if they have a pool for us. So we brought this trailer, Um, I guess, just to put a pool on or something we're not really sure i've seen pools here i don't think they're actually swimming pools are more for like livestock feed or water tanks and stuff but i've seen like a big blue pool here one time i don't know if they have it or not we're gonna go inside and try to find it and then hopefully get on that trailer and then we gotta go across the street to the uh bait shop we actually haven't been there before um i called them and they said they had minners so we'll see what uh see what you supply has to offer as far as pools go you guys stay tuned they have one that's it, that's it. They have, dude how are we gonna i don't know how we get that back oh we need a i actually kind of do need a ride lawnmower tbh but look at this it's a poly stock thing oh that's cool so you could drain it i was wondering i'm like how do you get the water out of that thing oh god <laughs> i mean it's not light dude that's gonna be perfect though so it's uh let's say the demand oh it's eight eight foot so it's eight eight foot i mean 370 bucks i've i've spent more money on worse things i think that'll work perfect it's thick. Wow. Bonzo could live in there. Bonzo could live in there. Yeah, he definitely could. So we're thinking we're going to get this thing. We're going to try it out today for the green sunfish, the crappie, and hopefully get some minnows, maybe some crawfish or something to live in. It's basically just going to be a holding tank uh, for bait. So that way we don't have to go out and get bait as much. We could turn it into pretty much anything else. And at the end of the day, if we don't want to use this for anything, this could be used for what it's supposed to be, which is a livestock tank. So like we could always put this in with all the big animals and use it for, for that purpose. But this should be, uh, should be interesting. I don't know how we're going to get it out of here, but wish us luck. Ah. Look at this guy. We got her down off that. He wants to see he wants to be you, you can cuddle with the green sunfish get our, speed, get our speedos and No, that's you and bonzo thing. Yeah, that's not no nope. I'm out. I'm not doing that You and bonzo and speedos for Instagram would Say the wrong it, it would it would uh it would tell the wrong story probably yeah a little, a little it just Let's we'll just not get into that. Let's get this thing on the trailer folks well we made it down the road uh hey look at that didn't fly out quite yet but we are gonna head into the we gotta run into the bait store see what they've got this place has a whole bunch of different stuff so we'll see you guys have never been here i've been here one time but not on camera so see what we can find all right here we go we've got this is 10 dozen minnows from the bait shop we didn't want to really film much in there i it's just uh, i just it's one of those things like the gentleman who owns it he, he's elderly and i just don't want i just don't want to go there you know what i'm saying just don't want to go there he's a super nice dude he's super nice to us so i just don't want to try to cross any lines with filming in there because i know how some people can be and i was saying he is like that but you never know either way 10 dozen this is 120 minnows going in the cooler with the live well aerator and then we got to go inside he said he's got some good sized goldfish so we're gonna buy some goldfish for him too so minnows going in the tank Oh, oh, we got, we got a sh straggler. Oh, yeah, that's that's bass candy right there. Oh, rip. Oh, here you go, Junior. All right, we're headed back inside. Ew, look at this, folks. We got, look how big these goldfish are, by the way. Look at these guys. I mean, they're kegers, son. Ew. All right, this is going to be good. The bass are going to get nice and fat off these suckers. Going in hot. Yes, sir. All right, make sure they're aerated. There's a lot of fish in here, so we got we to gotta haul booty home so they don't die. And we got the pool set up, ready to rock and roll. See you guys back at the house. Shoo! How's it going, folks? We made it back. How's it going, pigs? You guys chilling or what? You look sunburned. I chill, right? Cheese and rice. We still haven't named these guys. They're so cute, though. They're just built. What are you? Are you chewing on a rock? What are you eating? Hey, spit that out. What are you eating? That does not sound edible at all. That sounds literally like you're eating a freaking rock. I swear, these pigs. Anyways, um, they're chilling. They look sunburned, though. They probably should get in the shade. Um, hey, guess what, guys? Our ocean-approved strap. It actually worked. Nothing even budged at all. We got straps all around the doohickey, so I think we're probably gonna put this sucker right over here. Easy. Oh, dude, this thing is so clear. This is crazy. Oh, dude, they've... Oh, there's a there's one school of... Oh, my gosh. This is the best you guys have probably been able to see it. Check this out. I'm gonna give you guys some Mondo optic vision here. Okay, so, so this is before, and that's after. Look at those fish. So you can see the three bass. There's one by the pump, two on the left, and then the walleye are probably Probably under that rock I can see one you guys might not be able to see it right under that rock but look before after look at them just swimming down there they ate most of the goldfish that's good there's a bunch of those they don't they must not like those things or they're just lazy because there's like a bunch of like most of the orange oh there's actually a lot of bait never mind they've eaten a lot of the goldfish but the 
non-orange like minner looking things they don't they either are too lazy to chase or just haven't been they look lum and fat there's hook oh we're putting the pool here ricky back it up Terry. Terry, back up all right terry's backing it up uh but we're thinking the pool like i just said somewhere in this area it might not do it there because there's kind of a hole but we either stick it there we can stick it up there i mean maybe even here we'll just have to move it around basically somewhere this, that way it's close by we can run electricity um because we're gonna have some aerators and stuff and i'm hoping that we don't have any issues with raccoons raccoons could definitely jump in there i mean if we do that well we'll just we'll have to get ready for some some action yeah see the two walleye hanging out on there dude it's crystal today i mean yeah. this the sun's also hitting it just right where yeah. you can actually see in there but this is they, there's so much bait though left see all the bait balls but they're not the goldfish goldfish they're just like no. the minnows well i'm gonna throw we'll throw the crappie in there and uh the green sunfish and see like what they do i mean they might eat the minnows and in that case that's probably not good uh i just we, we i want to see if basically the bass will eat the bigger fish if they don't probably scoop them out with a net and maybe catch and cook them or do something because if they this if they're eating the bait fish well then basically we're paying to feed the blue the green sunfish and the crappie which is not what we want so we're gonna go ahead and get this sucker unstrapped set down over here and uh get to filling That'll work. Hey, look at that. I guess we need to fill her up, huh? Turn the hose on. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. Here you go, folks. Pool is, uh, I mean, it's like three quarters full. We don't need it all the way full. There's no real reason to. Um, It'd be easier to leave it halfway and then like change the water out and stuff since we don't have any filters. But this is what we're dealing with. As you can see, this little fisher, they're giving it a dangle. We're gonna see what can what can survive. Should we try to should we give some of these? Hey, Melly, what do you think? Hey, you wanna see a crappie or something? Look at this guy. What's he doing? E easy rick it ain't catch and cook season yet calm down so we should we throw the big fish in the in the pond and just see what they do yeah let's just so let's take this guy oh he tried to eat a minnow he was choking on a what? minnow he choked on a he choked on a minnow it was down his throat yeah. oh what the hell all right so he's ko'd it wasn't there another one there was a few green sunfish weren't there i only see one there's a guy right here oh you got one right there or is that the dead one uh, i don't know i think he's dead all right here we go Oh, rip. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys, right throw them here. in the pond. You got another one? Yeah. All right, bring them over. All right, we're going to see what these, if these bass are going to eat this guy. See you later, Rick. Dude, I don't know if these bass can eat these guys. They're pretty big. Yeah, they might be too big. That guy died. He choked <coughs> on a minnow. Come on. Look at him. He's ripped. All right, crappie. There you go. Oh. Oh, what's, oh, oh, oh. They're chasing him. They were chasing him for a second. Oh, snap. They're used to seeing crappie in your pond. Yeah. We got real bait here, not goldfish. Well, I mean, hey, at the very least, this crappie will probably clean up some of these little bait fish that the yeah. bass don't Where's like. Where's the crappie at? He's right there. He's next to that stick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Underneath that stick. Down there. I think they could eat him if they yeah. really wanted oh, to. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We're going to see. I mean, the thing is, there's a lot of little minnows. I mean, I'm talking baby, yeah. baby fry that the bass, they don't touch. I think they're too small. So, honestly, it wouldn't be that bad if this crappie just smoked those and then maybe the crappie will grow big enough to eat. But let's go ahead and add well, the rest of this. In my, in in my pond, uh, there's no small crappie. It's all big. So, so they the do bass eat. must eat the small they crappie the in small my ones. pond. Yeah. Yeah, see him? Look at the crappie right there. Crappie it'd be, a, it'd be a big meal. I can tell you that much. It'd be a big meal. But, Let's uh let's go ahead and add the rest of the fish. All right, big goldfish and minners. One and a half. Yes, sir. Yeah. Dude, that looks like none in there. Yeah. With how big of a pool is. Oh yeah. wow, we have a lot that got KO'd. Dang. Nice. Okay. That's big. a pretty big fish tank. Yeah. Like a big bait tank, I yeah. should say. So we've got right now we have four bubblers. Um, and the, the hose is still filling this thing up. And I mean, we need a I feel like this could hold a lot more minnows than this. Like a lot more minnows. We could I mean, we got what, 120? Yeah. I bet we could hold this could go 500 all day long. Those are some giant goldfish. So I, the idea is we need to uh, well we need to get a bait net, something that can scoop these. And it is every morning, come down, pick up a scoop, throw it in the pot just like we're feeding all these other animals do the exact same thing but this way we'll go to keep them alive longer um and beamer fisheries the place that we get a lot of our fish he has minnows by like the millions so he can come bring a thousand minnows we throw them in here we can keep them alive and feed the bass you know 10 of them a day 30 of them a day whatever whatever the bass want to eat and uh and we got some big goldfish here from uh from good old pap so he hooked us up fat with some goldfish anyways look at them, they're already schooled up that's crazy they're already chilling I'm hoping the uh, I'm hoping the raccoons stay out of this thing though. That's the one thing. Yeah. It's pretty tall, but I mean I could easily see them. Like if I was a raccoon, I could see them being like, you know, and like just like getting one, getting some of those minnows. You know what I'm saying? I could see them doing it. I don't know if they're gonna do it, but I could see them doing it. Cause uh, I've heard of that happening with fish, like pool ponds and stuff like this. So we'll see. I mean, if the raccoons come and get them, ain't no, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like these were super expensive by any means. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We've got, we now have a minnow farm uh, at the farm. I feel like we got so many farms. We have a worm farm. We got a minnow farm. And um, well, we really just need the water temp to warm up just a little bit more so we can get some more green sunfish. I think that's going to be the key. The key to growing these bass giant as giant can get is going to be feeding them green sunfish. These minnows, it's going to take a long time to fatten them up. Green sunfish, we need to get them out of there anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. 
Um, but I think the water just needs to warm up just a little bit. And uh, and we'll have to go out and catch some more. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let us know, hey, are these minnows going to die? Did we set it up wrong? Do they need something that we didn't give them? I mean, we got four bubblers, fresh water going in. I mean, I feel like we got pretty much everything a minnow, uh, their heart would desire. But comment down below if there's anything that we did wrong or we should do next. What farm do you want to see next being built at the Flare Farm? Comment them down below. And if you guys want any sick merch, this guy, this guy, even these little glasses right here, link down below. You can get 15% off everything on the Guggenswald website using promo code Flare. Link down below go check it out thank you so much and peace